let's talk about Anchored VWAP. That's right, we're going to talk about Anchored VWAP in this video. It's right here in our trend line tools. As you'll see, there's Anchored VWAP. We click it, we find a starting point, we click again, and just like that, Anchored VWAP is shown on our chart. It's fast, it's fluid, it's easy to use, and all it takes is selecting the tool. You can also favorite it and then picking a starting point and watching it appear on your chart. Now let's talk about what Anchored VWAP means and how you can use it because while it is a really powerful tool, we do need to understand what it means first. So Anchored, Volume, Weighted, Average, Price. That's what it stands for. So when you hear someone say Anchored VWAP, really important. It stands for Anchored Volume Weighted Average Price. And why does that matter on the chart that we are looking at? Well, we're going to dive into that. The first thing we want to talk about is Anchored. Why is Anchored in the name? We're going to tell you why Anchored's in the name. It's because when you select the tool, you're going to anchor the calculation at a specific starting point. So let's say we want to anchor our Volume Weighted Average Price to the March lows. Remember that crash? So we're going to click it as our anchor. And now what's happening is this line here is calculating after being anchored to this starting point. And what you're getting is an anchored volume weighted average price that starts from here and of course ends right here at its most recent point. So this is also going to be our ending point. And that's what the anchored means. Okay, next up, let's talk about volume weighted. So this is the next thing you have to understand volume weighted. So we know what anchored means. We've got that out of the way. Now let's talk about volume weighted. Okay, so volume weighted refers to the fact that anchored VWAP looks at volume to make its calculations, meaning that higher volume spikes will have a bigger impact on the average price of the anchored VWAP line that's shown. So what we've done here is each of these arrows is showing you volume spikes and each of these volume spikes is going to impact the average price shown by this line more than small volume moves like these here or these here. So that's really important to know what we're sh what we're trying to say what the line is telling you is that the average price that's shown here this line it's weighted by volume so volume has an impact on the average price higher volume points are going to have more weight on the construction of this line than lower volume points like this here that's what volume weighted means so now we know now we know what anchored means and we also know what volume weighted means now let's talk about average price what does that aspect mean well what the calculation of anchored VWAP is doing so here's our anchored VWAP right here what it's doing is from our starting point our anchor so we click there it is it's now calculating the average price of this security from this starting point to this starting point, and it's using volume as a way to weight that average price. And as we showed earlier, these volume spikes are going to have a bigger impact on the average price. They're going to be weighted to the average price more than these volume bars. The point is, is that it is an average price that's volume weighted. So we hope that that explanation helped in your understanding of how it's calculated. Now, as an example, if you had a moving average, a moving average just uses price to calculate the average, pr average price. So it would just calculate based on each of these average price levels and then give you a line. But anchored volume weighted average price finds an anchor point this is our anchor point then finds an average price over a period of time so from our anchor 
all the way to the here and now, this moment where it's trading here, and then weights that by the amount of volume that's traded over that time, giving more importance to big volume spikes and moments of increased volume and less weight to low volume prices and low volume trades. Super important. Why is that important? The reason why anchored volume weighted average price is so important is because it's one way you can find, let's write this down, supply and demand. So you can use anchored volume weighted average price to find supply and demand, to find support and resistance, to understand a popular trader tool. And of course, lastly, one of the more important points is that used by big money to find volume. So let's go through each of these points here. Supply and demand. Let's talk about why anchored volume weighted average price is important to supply and demand. Well, what you want to do, let's say we're looking at a long term chart here. What you always want to remember is that price is dependent on the number of buyers and the number of sellers. And you can really only know so much about a specific security on a chart beyond price and volume. So these two things that we're pointing to, volume, and then of course this is price. And so watch what happens when we take our anchored VWAP drawing tool then we select the lowest point of the March crash. This was the March crash. You can start to see how anchored volume weighted average price shows that demand for this particular asset, Shopify daily chart, right now we're on candles, but everything we're showing you works for any of these options. But you can start to see how much demand there's been for this asset compared to the supply of it. And now why, how are we making those assessments? Well, look at the difference between the price and the anchored volume weighted average price. This is a 27% difference. This is a 28% difference. This is a 10% difference. So since the March lows, this asset has been in incredible demand. Because we know by looking at this, the volume weighted average price, which is the blue line, is far below the actual price. People are paying for this. They are demanding it. And a more average price based on volume spikes would suggest, especially since the March lows, that price and demand is higher than the actual supply. Now let's move on to the next topic about anchored volume weighted average price that we can look into and that is support and resistance so we're just going to circle this support and resistance and so how can we use this to find support and resistance well, let's zoom out a little we will move our titles over here to the left and now let's take our anchored volume weighted average price let's go to 2019 let's do the start of 2019 we select now watch how cool this is for support and resistance now support and resistance and then supply and demand share the same things in common but they're used differently and you could say that these certain anchored volume weighted average prices are actually support zones and check this out so this is we started this average volume weighted this volume weighted average price at the start of 2019. So this is our 2019 start. And you ready for how interesting this is? When the market crashed in March, there's the March crash, guess where it found support? It found support at the 2019 anchored volume weighted average price. In fact, if you go back to late 2019, where did it find support? At the 2019 start, and that is interesting. You are using anchored volume weighted average price to gauge where there is support and resistance, in this case specifically support. 
Now let's talk about one more aspect of anchor volume weight average price, and it's this here to understand a popular trader tool. Anchored volume weighted average price is used by traders and investors around the world. It's used by short-term traders to see what's happening, you know, in the immediate term. And it's also used by long-term traders who need to put now, which will actually jump to this next point, which is used by big money to find volume. Well, the reason why we wrote that is because if you are a big investor and you have to put money to work, you can't just buy all at once because you will just move the asset far and above its actual price. You know, you will shift the dynamics of it. So you want to buy over time. You want to get the best average price over time. So some of the people who are looking to deploy money over the long term will really zoom out to get a feel for the assets long-term anchored volume weighted average price to make more informed decisions about where they should buy and sell over the long term as not to disrupt price so much and with the anchored view up drawing tool you can select the tool from the menu here pick any starting point and instantly see where that is for example here's a, here's Shopify's IPO and interesting it's never been tested since its breakout but what we're doing is we are creating a long-term canvas of Shopify's price based on its anchored volume weighted average price. And we're just getting a feel for the security and how it's traded over time. And everything is up and to the right. And so what you can see here is that there is a lot of demand and there is some support we've noticed and it's a way to visualize over the long term where money is coming in and where the most amount of demand is coming in as well. And as we saw earlier, one of the most important zones, something happened here, whether it was a new buyer or a new entrance of money or interest, something happened here to where anchored volume weight and average price perfectly followed this line up. So we hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. We showed you some examples. Most importantly, we hope you understand what it means and the calculation. That's what matters most. Because if you don't understand how these tools are calculated, you cannot use them properly. That is step one. So we broke down anchored volume weighted average price and what it means. We showed you some examples, including support and demand. I'm sorry, supply and demand, support and resistance, understanding a popular trader tool, and how it can be used by big money to find volume. If you have any questions or comments, please ask them in the comment section below. And if you have any feedback, please also write that. Now, what we're gonna do now is, we're just gonna breeze through some charts and just show you how easy this tool is. And, you know, we select it, we open Tesla. Let's go to a daily chart. And now what we're going to do is basically just have some fun. Let's look around to find what some of these assets are doing and, and where they sit in terms of their anchored volume weighted average price. So Tesla, let's go to the March crash and click. Interesting, strong uptrend. Let's go to something like Exxon. Let's click our anchored volume weighted average price since the March crash. Different story, very different story. When it sliced through here, it was quite the capitulation moment and it really sank. But to its surprise, it's recently broken back above it. Here's where it broke above and it sliced back through, came up, retested, and now back up above its anchor volume weighted average price since the March lows. And let's keep going through some more assets just to show you how easy this is. Here's the S&P 500 this uh, 2018 crash and you can see it's well above its anchored volume weight average price but how interesting is this you can see that it found some great support at this line here here was a zone that was rather it was almost tested not entirely and we can also look at the S&P 500 go since its March lows wow that is quite the rip because what you can do is you can look at anchored volume weighted average price and measure the distance between anchored volume weighted average price and the actual price just to see how bullish the demand is in terms of, you know, the, the volume weighted average price is so much lower 
than the actual price that it shows you just how much demand is in there for that particular asset. And remember, another important thing, if price is above its anchored volume weighted average price, you know, we should have said this earlier, and if you've watched this video that long, see this area here. Well, you could assume that that means everyone who bought at this level, which is the, you know, volume weighted average price is in the is in the green. So this area is actually technically profit. And that means that long term holders in this zone are doing really well for themselves. And not only are they doing really well for themselves, they also have quite a bit of wiggle room as the as the S&P 500 climbs higher, quite a big bit of wiggle room uh, to take another drawdown and still be in the money because this is your anchored volume weighted average price. So that's another really important way to use this tool.